how to initialize Panasonic KXNS 500 for the first time it's very very easy first be sure that this initialize switch is in this initialize side which is the right sorry left side then power on the system three wait for this led to start flicker when you see this led start flickering move initialize switch to normal position and wait about two or three minutes it will be fixed green and system work it's very easy just move initialize switch to system initialize side bar on the system wait until this led start flickering then move this initialize switch to the normal position to the right wait for about three or four minutes from two to four minutes and system will start working now we will go to LAN connection we do initial initializing we we initialize the system and we will now go to how to program the system to go inside programming you must use standard RG45 straight cable connection from LAN board or main unit to your laptop or PC first connect straight RG45 cable from LAN board or main unit to your LAN board on your PC this is the first step and you don't need any special software to interface and program the system but default IP for our system is 192.168.0.101.0 is not commonly used all of us are using dot one so in many most cases people try to connect to system and do what we say but they can't connect to the system because our LAN ports are in another LAN not on LAN 0 so we can go to control panel network and internet network connection and find IB4 uh, setting and go to IP address and give us an address related to this LAN which will be in the same LAN with the VBX in this case we can be connected otherwise if your LAN setting is taking a LAN with dot one and system is dot zero they will not be see each other so please be careful about this step again our system have this IP address by default so our LAN setting must be in the same lane PBX is taking 101 by default so I can use any number dot zero any number
from 1 to 255 of course 254 but not 101 because it is used for ppx so 50 60 70 80 uh, 200 as you wish but please be in dot zero lane to see the ppx or to be connected easily with your ppx so you set your land setting to be in the same land domain with pbx so open any browser you have and put this ip address and enter you will be go to this screen and you'll be asked to put username and password which is by default is installer capital letter and one two three four just write installer and one two three four in these places username and password and login you will be here in the system and from here we explain before in many videos how to deal with your ppx but we will preview what we say before here you can select your interface language language and here if you are using uh, the system as a slave for an another uh, pre-installed system you can select to be a slave we will need an activation key if you want to use one lock system here you can select your area your uh, area code or your country they will be listed under this menu will this is a drop down menu a new password but not the old one 1234 will not be accepted you must change this password and rewrite it and go to start setup wizard one lock network is always using ns1000 as a master unit this master unit must be ns1000 this sites will be ns500 and will be set to slave through system programming this one lock networking and uh, how to connect uh, system located in different uh, physical position or different uh, or uh, different uh, physical location how to be connected to act like uh, one system or actually they will act as one system uh, so they are named one lock networking uh, this will be explained in a separate video second menu in system setup wizard will be for date and time and daylight time saving third one will be you will be asked to select if you want to use feature number with asterisk or without asterisk and here you can select to see your line access number it is zero by default and nine for operator all of us 
first time connecting NS500 they not change this to 9 and leave it to 0 they trying to uh, test the system they are open uh, speaker phone and dial 9 dial 9 is for operator by default so you are calling yourself you will hear busy tone or reorder tone but if you change it as we uh, used it to use we are used to use 9 for co line access and 0 for operator so please be uh, careful about this here will be selected you will be asked to select to start extension numbers from 101 or from 201 for three digit numbering or you can select to use it from the beginning four digits starting from 1000 or 2000 uh, select what you want but of course they can be changed we explain this in a separate video this is the default values when we select uh, to use numbering plan with asterisk 1 and 2 and 4 and 5 and 6 is used for extension numbering and this is the code for most operations but if you select type 2 to use feature numbers without asterisk you will get this four digits for extension numbering like this four digit because fixed two digit and two variable digit with minimum value of zero zero and nine nine as we explained before so this will be from one thousand to one thousand ninety nine from 1100 1199 and so on and so on and this will be the codes for features when we use feature number numbers without asterisk which is very similar to that used in digital 1232 and older PBX next screen will be for operator and manager you can select any extension to be manager and any extension to be uh, operator and for operator you can also use coming call distribution group operator connection and programming have a separate video which is located on the internet I mean uh, four or five months ago but it is in Arabic I am an Arabic uh, man and I speak Arabic I have asked to do my videos in English I'm sorry I have a broken English but I think it's uh, you can understand me. Next screen, you will be asked for CO line dialing mode, of course, and it is by default DTMF. Please leave it DTMF. And if you install this PRI E1 card, please select which function you want to use from this card. Coming call distribution group can be selected from initial setting, but please leave it no. And if you want to use it, use it through programming after that. Then setting this is the default IP address, of course, can be changed after that, especially if you are using static IP. Uh, this screen is about using 
uh, IP phones, SIP phones, or uh, IPPT, Panasonic or any other type. But of course, you have four uh, open IP phones can be used directly without any license. But you need to install Voice I over IP DSB card. Any type you have three type DSB. Uh, small and medium and large with these part numbers respectively you can use any one of them but you will not be able to use voice over IP function without DCB card installed in the main unit please be careful this is the end of our lecture or session um, I hope you can find uh, something useful for you and you can understand what I want to uh, tell you about. Uh, thank you for listening to me and I hope this video to be helpful for you. See you again.